I'm here behind the scenes seeing something that most of our visitors don't have a chance to experience unless they're on a behind the scenes tour. We're up above the uh, living shipwreck tank and I'm here with two of our aquarists, Jeff and Clint, who take care of the animals here. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you, Alan? Here in our living shipwreck tank we have three different species of sharks. Tell us what those are and a little bit about each one. We have three species of sharks in the living shipwreck. Sand tiger, nurse shark, and sandbar shark. All three are fed similar diets. It ranges from different types of mackerel, Spanish mackerel, Boston mackerel, uh, chub mackerel. We also feed uh, menhaden, mullet, squid, um, and really dependent on the size of the animal, it sort of determines how much food they're given. Their diets are supplemented uh, with vitamins that we use, just insert them into the fish themselves. Just the way your dog or cat might respond to the uh, opening of the pantry or the turning on of the can opener, the fish here at the aquarium are also trained to respond to changes in environmental cues to tell them it's time to be fed. And we do the same thing for the sharks. Those three species have three different locations on the surface of the tank. Um, and from each of those locations, they have been conditioned to eat. During the Tuesday feed and the Friday feed, uh, just after the fish feed, we have three different aquarists or husbandry staff ready to feed the sharks at each location. And there's a cue. So once we turn a part of the life support system off, that sound is no longer there. It also calms the surface current on the tank. This kind of gives the sharks an idea that, well, it's time to feed. All three species report to the feeding locations. So here's a typical shark feeding pole that we use. And what we do is basically attach the frozen fish to the end of this and then lower it down into this, just below the surface of the tank, right before the shark swims by. And that's what we call pole feeding or target feeding sharks. Oftentimes visitors wonder why the sharks aren't eating the fish in the exhibit. Uh, it's part of our job to ensure the animal's uh, nutrition is adequate for their survival and also for their fitness. Uh, one of the things we try to do is um, give the animal enough to eat at each session. We feed them twice a week simply because um, sharks don't require food all of the time. It's not to say that they wouldn't be looking for it. Um, but by feeding these animals on a regular basis um, and a specific amount of food based on their size, it's not a problem for us primarily because I think that the nutrition um, needs are met. Twice a day we do a, a live dive in the shipwreck. It's an interactive program between the visitor and the divers and a lot of times the visitors wonder why the divers aren't frightened or why the sharks don't show an interest in the divers. There's a couple of reasons. One would be they are conditioned to having divers in the exhibit with them and also uh, these animals primarily eat fish so a human isn't really looked at as a food option. Several of the divers have what we call safety sticks and those are primarily used to uh, guide the animals away from the divers so that there is no interaction between them. It's almost like a stop sign to make them change direction so that there is no interaction and also helps the shark uh, not collide with the exhibit or have to change its path rapidly to where it may uh, injure itself. So it takes a lot of hard work and dedication on the part of our aquarist staff here at the North Carolina Aquarium to make sure our sharks are healthy and happy here in the Living Shipwreck exhibit. <laughs>